Okay. Let's see if we can do something with the van. Welcome back to the channel. Right, I'm on a different bike today. This is Jet's bike. Absolute little beast. When it comes to running around towns and things like that, you can't beat that. It's a little 125. Um, it's a Sinus, a Kuma, but that's not why we're here. Now, for the last few months, the van has been broken. So the starter motor went. I did have a load of footage about the starter motor, um, trying to get it off and stuff like that. But for some reason, again, curse of the GoPro, I lost all of that. But I'll see if I can find any bits, but don't be hopeful if I have their beer, but probably not. So I bought a new starter motor. I got in under the van, did my very best to try to take the bolts off, thinking it'd be a simple swap. Even I could do a starter motor, no problem. Couldn't get the bolts out, absolutely not. They were just absolutely welded in there. So it's taken me weeks. I bought different tools. I bought different, um, I tried different techniques, everything that I could try. Now everybody said bump start it, but where the van was, was tucked away. And if I couldn't bump start it, there was no way I was getting it back into that space again. So I didn't bother bump starting it. But one thing I have learned during this entire escapade is that I've got some pretty cool people around me. So, Anybody who helped me out or offered help or tried to help during this whole entire palaver, I do, I'm massively grateful. Nick, Carl, Andrew, everyone. It's been, uh, it's been nice to see how willing everybody is to give you a hand. I tried to do it on my own, turned out I couldn't. So we've dragged the bloody thing up the quarry and lo and behold, well, I'll show you. Ta-da! And there she is. And there's that. Horrible little shit there, look. This is the old starter motor that uh, seen better days and the absolute genius, look at that. Welded on some bigger nuts, get some better purchase on it and work the bugger off. So that's problem number one sorted. Now the reason that's only problem number one is I actually had some lights come on, some ABS lights come on. And the day that I figured out that the starter motor was broken was the day that I was going to fix that down at Nick's place. Um, and I didn't know that the starter motor had gone until then. So it's been parked up. So phase one, get the starter motor done. So massive shout out to everybody who helped me out with that. Phase number two, whip that off and see if I can't do the ABS ring, which is here somewhere, I think. And then phase three, to tidy the van up it's been it's been rubbish the past few months jets had lots of health issues so we've been back and forth with that we tried to do some bits and pieces i have actually been to amsterdam me and jet went to amsterdam we did some bits and pieces it wasn't really a vlogging holiday we didn't go over there to make to get content to be honest it was more to try to enjoy the moment if you know what i mean jet's not been well so it was more of just a holiday um, so yeah, now we're back, back to reality. Got to get the van livable again. I haven't stayed in this van in a fair few weeks, as you can probably tell, it's just become a shed now. And um, it doesn't even stop there, look. It's terrible. I'd actually loaded it up with stuff to take to the lockup and, um, and it wouldn't start. So first things first, first things first, let's go and, See what, what, let's, uh, uh, I'll say some more words, and more words, and more words. Let's go and have a look. I'll show you the lights as well, let's have a look. Oh, you look, oh, fair play to him. Wound the window down. Oh, there's the ABS ring. <laughs> Obviously I need fuel. <laughs> but now my mission excuse the noise now my mission is to get those lights off the uh abs and traction for some reason i mean i can fix that one that's no problem the airbag abs and traction airbag abs and traction mot's coming up gotta get that done i need the van back working again i didn't build this 
beautiful home on wheels for it to sit there and become a shed. So let's get cracking and see what we can do. All right, step one, get it up on the axle stand. Now this is the pit there. So when I tried to jack it up a minute ago, the diff was right under there. So I have to move the van at an angle here. All right, yeah, so I've given myself bugger all room here. I'm gonna make a bit of space there, whip the wheel off, and see what we can figure out. Probably not gonna be very interesting because I genuinely don't have a clue what I'm doing. I'm winging it with YouTube yet again. Videos, try and figure it out. <laughs> we'll see what goes on, what goes wrong. That's the brake caliper off. I'm gonna need new brake pads, I think. Great. So I've got the hub off, he's off. Now I've got to pull the half shaft out. Everything looks like I've got to keep it clean, so let's give that a go. There it is. So, here's what we're dealing with here. This is the ABS tone ring. That's supposed to be secure on there. As you can see right there, it's got a hole in it. See it there? There you go. So all of this has to come off just to get to that. Progressor. We're getting there. So although I might have said progress we're getting there this is actually a, another day because um we had to stop i had to stop because i got the ring off oh, i'll show you this in a minute i'll show you this let's have a look i've managed to strip it all off done all the bits and pieces managed to get the tone ring off i'll show you that and then i'll show you why we're on another day because there's a the tone ring that's what's been causing me problems and here's the one that i got from a very reputable local um parts distributor bought it in september it's now january i've only just got round to doing it because obviously i had trouble with the starter motor etc somebody's trimming a hedge outside yeah there's the tone ring and here's the one the parts company sent me but The one they sent me fits inside the old one, so that's definitely not gonna fit. So I've had to order another one. That should be arriving today. So I've just come back to the van and I've done the brakes, changed the brake pads. They're done now. Brake pads are sorted, everything else is sorted. All I wanna do is get the bloody thing put back together because I really, really, really want to clean it. I wanna clean it, I wanna get it shiny again. It started going green. Let me just, I think I might have showed you this in the last video, last part of this video, but look at it. The van's a shed at the minute, and what's even worse is where it's been parked up, it's going green. And that's, that's not the worst bit. The worst bit, it's around there, look. I mean, come on, it's supposed to be my house. Ooh. So yeah, so hopefully this part arrives today. Hopefully I can get that put back together and hopefully we can get onto cleaning it. That'll be fun. Right, so I've just got a notification saying the part's gonna be here in an hour. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start tidying up the back of the van. I gotta do something, ain't I?
right. I've just been and picked it up. I was a bit excited. Should have done like the box and all of that crap. It's just a box to be honest. I'll show you if you want. Ta-da. So, got the new part. This is ABS tone ring. Let's check to see if it fits the old one, which I'm looking at now. Looks like it should do. Let's have a go. I'm going to call that a win. Right. So that's the old, that's the one they sent. That's the broken one. That's the new one. That's the one that they thought it was going to fit. Okay, right. Now let's try and get this on, get the van out of the workshop so I can start actually cleaning it and actually driving it. That would be nice. So the tone ring goes on there. Thusly. But it's quite grotty around here. So what I'm going to do is I've got a new tool. I'm just going to give that a little skim off, clean off any crap. Hopefully I can just gently tap that home. Shove an old hat in there so as not to get dust and shite in there. It's done something. I don't really know if it's helped that much. I'm just gonna lag it with a load of grease and uh, see if I can't tap it on. I use the old one and uh, convince it with that. She's old. I think I need to snug it up though. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Smashed in. Job done. Well, not job done. Still got job to do, but you know what I mean. If anybody's got any idea why an ABS sensor tone ring isn't an integral part of the wheel, why it's removable and why it can break, just let me know, because it's not a wear part. It's just there. It doesn't touch anything. So, why don't they just make it part of the hub? Because it doesn't get damaged. It just goes round. And the sensor reads it. I don't know. Perhaps it's just me. I'll have to go with it, see what happens. Right. Well, the wheel's back on, nearly. I just had to fill up the diff oil. I didn't film any of that because I was in under there. And an ingenious way of doing that because you can't really get an angle on the bottle. If anybody is interested, one of these big ass syringes. You get the image. So how it was. Got that done. Let's just get these bad boys back on. Well, it's spit. Uh, let's not get excited. Let's not get excited yet. It's a bit exciting. These plastic things are crap, by the way. They look all right, I suppose. When it comes to taking them off, it's a right twat. Um, it's well annoying. Sorry. Family show. Okay. So, basically, it's taken me months to do this. So massive, massive thanks to everyone who helped out. I should probably just ask for help to start with, but I don't like being a pain in the ass. Getting the starter off was the biggest issue. Doing that actually wasn't as bad as I thought. I think I probably balled something up. I don't think the bearings are very healthy in there. I'm probably gonna have to replace them at some point, but now I've got a bit more confidence as to taking that off. So let's get this thing moving and see what happens.
might put some gloves on actually so i don't know how to go about switching off the lights but i finished doing that 10 minutes before i have to go and do something else so i'm gonna take I'm going to take five minutes to see whether or not driving it up and down the track's going to work. So there's the lights there. or not all right so they haven't gone off yet but i've got stuff to do so i'll see if i can find any hacks that are supposed to make that disappear uh, but with that said it's running it's stopping it's doing half of what it's meant to do so so far so good I, they didn't come off straight away but There we go. Took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. I'm not a mechanic and I should probably ask for help a little bit more often. But it's just nice to see a little bit of charge going back into my leisure batteries. The van's actually working. The lights are all off. The brakes are probably a little bit spongier than they need to be, so probably need to be bled. But, progress. We did it. A lot. I, this was supposed to be a video about cleaning the van and getting it going again, but it's probably just turned into a video about me trying to get the van, van fixed. The next stage is to clear the van out and wash it down with some TFR, get it all nice and shiny again so that I could start actually feeling proud of my rolling house once again. But yeah, over the moon with that. So lights are off. Step in the right direction. <laughs>